Hi, my name is Lucas Weekly. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build rockets for your compressed air rocket launchers. Stay tuned. Okay, here are the materials you're going to need for this project. First off, you're going to need a half inch diameter PVC tube about a foot in length. And then you're going to need scissors, of course, and you're also going to need masking tape. Um, this, I use masking tape, it works the best uh, that I found. You can use scotch tape or duct tape if you want to, but I found masking tape works the best. You're also going to need a sharpie to mark where the fins are going to go, and then of course you're going to need your template. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take your template and cut it out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so after that, you will have all these pieces. You do not need the pressure cap, so you can throw that to the side, and you only need three fins, so you can throw the fourth one out of the side too. So now we go into the construction. Now it's time to get your uh, PVC pipe, and then we're gonna roll it around this. So that's the next step. Okay, so a few things that I wanted to talk about was um, you want to get a few pieces of tape ready because the paper is kind of springy and it'll get out of your way really easily and so you want to have a few pieces ready to tape it into place. Um, go from each end and tape them off and get them snug enough and then go from the middle out and then get rid of all the bubbles and then put it one piece of tape across the edge. Now you want to make it snug enough that like you can't, it won't fall off but um, if it's too tight, like you have to actually put force onto getting it off the tube, then it will um, explode. So don't do that either. So you want to keep the tube still on the um, on the PVC pipe. And then the reason why we're not using the pressure cap is because the tip, you're just going to crumple up. And we're going to and then that stops all the pressure from getting through. So now it's significantly smaller too. So now we're gonna build the nose cone. So you can set that aside and pick up this piece. Now you wanna fold along all the dotted lines and then where it has all the little dots, that's where you put the glue, but we're not gonna be using glue, we're gonna be using tape. So that's how it should do that. So I'll do that right now. Okay, now that I've folded on all the lines, now you wanna make it you want to curl it up so it's the same diameter as the tube, so you can bring in your tube again. You want to put it over your tube, and once I get it on, um, you want to make sure it's like snug. So it's the same diameter as the tube, so it's not too big, and it's not too small. Um, make sure it is small enough, and then you want to take your piece of tape and then tape it. So I'll do that right now. Okay, so this is what it should look like when you're done taping it. Um, one thing to keep in mind, you just want to take it off the tube and then put a piece of tape around the seam so you can get that in place. And then you put it onto the tube and then you wrap a few times around the um, tabs that were already on the cone. And then that gives it strength. And so now we move on to the fins. You're going to need to get your fin guide and then you wrap this around the tube and you can get a Sharpie and then mark where it says the three, and then you're gonna mark that every part where it does the three, and then that's gonna tell you where you put the, fin, the fins. Okay, so now that you have it marked, you're gonna take your fins, you're gonna just fold on the dotted lines, and this is important. So you'll fold like this for the first one, fold in half across the dotted line on the front, you'll open it again, and see how there's the smaller lines on the side? Well, you're gonna fold those out like this. So 
So that gives the tabs for the fin. And then you fold these out and you have a single fin. So I'll do that for the rest of them and then I'll come back. Okay, now that you have all your fins, now it's time to put them onto the uh, rocket. So I'll show you how to do the first one and then I'll get the other done, other ones done. So you want to put a piece of tape on one of the sides to start off. So you have it on the side like that, and then you want to put another piece of tape on the other side. And then what you, you want to hold it close so it's like a little fin, and then you go to your line that you drew, the little mark, and you put the fin on that mark, and then you push down the tape. Same thing on the other side. And that's a single fin. Now what I like to do, and which makes, what I've found makes them fly really good, is just to cut off the front, and it'll just give it a pointed edge. And you can also do it to the bottom too. It just makes it look cooler. So, and it flies better too. So that's one fin, and now you have to do the other three. So here's the finished fins. Now you want to make sure that they're evenly spaced apart. And that's really important for like when it flies, of course, because if they're all on one side, then it won't fly very well. And um, if there's only one fin, it won't fly very well either. And then on the nose cone, you want to make sure it's the same diameter. So these are, this is what it should look like. And then um, it comes to a point. And you can reinforce the body if you want to, you just put a, Bit more tape around it but it's not necessary um, as long as you make it loose enough that'll slide then it, it won't need it and so now you take it off the tube and if you have any tape sticking out from where you did the fins just fold it over and that's it so that's how you build one of these rockets and um, now we'll go launch it Okay, so this might not be the smartest thing in the world, but it's raining right now, and so I'm gonna fire it off into my room. Um, so this is the compressed air rocket launcher. And um, there's the target out there, a pair of shorts. Hopefully I won't hit my MakerBot. Let's see, three, two, one. I think it broke. It didn't like that. Okay, so the nose got a little crumpled. But um, another thing you want to keep in mind is keep the pressure of the cannon under 40 psi. Anything above that will tend to explode the rockets. I found that out the hard way. Um, so that's it. So thanks for watching. Bye.